So today, we're actually going to be increasing the travel of my uh, factory uh, fork 36, Fox 36, from 150 to 160. All right, so obviously the first step would be to remove the fork. All right, so as you can see, I took the uh, fork out from the bike, which I laid carefully on the ground. So we're gonna take these caps off, expose the screw, tap them out, and then we can lower the um, lower part of the fork. All right, so this is a 15. All right, undone. All right. All right, now you've removed the uh, 15 mil bolt and the 10 mil bolt and make sure you remove the uh, crush washer. Now we are going to punch these down, but you do, you do not want to damage these um, uh, rebound adjusters. So you can use a Fox specialty tool or you can use uh, something like a socket that would go over these two pretty well on the bolt and then just kind of tap them. Okay, that's good, so it's already moving down. All right, now we're ready to remove the lowers and uh, I have an oil pan down here because uh, all the oil will leak out and so let's just kind of pull it down. There you go, Ew! Woo -hoo -hoo! juicy, oh yeah. All right, so the next step is to depress air and remove this cap. Um, so I've disconnected my shock whiz and now we can uh, depress the air, slowly, there you go, okay. and then you can use a uh, 32 um, so millimeter socket and then you just want to make sure you have good leverage on here. Uh, park tool stand, work stand is great. So you just want to make sure you have good leverage. There you go. All right, no slippage. I'm interested to see how many um, spacers they have in here. All right, one, two, interesting. Okay, all right. All right, so the next step will be to remove the retaining ring. A trick to do this is you can see there's a ring with opening right here. There is a flatter portion that you can slide a pick in and then you can just kind of go around it underneath and then here it comes. And then we can pull the air shaft out. All right, here we go. Hopefully it's a centimeter longer. Yep, there you go. All right, cool, all right. Transfer all the slick honey over. All right, so I've applied more uh, uh, slick oleum uh, right here. It can never have too much. And then this is the new one. We're just gonna slide it in, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, push it in. So now, can I replace the uh, uh, ring? The kit actually comes with a new ring, new retention ring, new cap, new crusher washer, but this, uh, fork it's like a week old so we're just going to use everything uh, from stock so we're just gonna put this in make sure it's in place okay so that feels pretty good so now we've got that retention ring in now we're gonna put the lowers in we're gonna replace the cap we're gonna add oil as instructed all right so we've uh, turned it upside down we're gonna add three cc's of the 20 weight fox oil on here and uh, so it's not much, basically. All right, that's it. And then I've actually added a spacer, so now we have three, and uh, I'm gonna give it a test. Uh, should be pretty good. And then we're gonna tighten this down with the uh, same uh, socket. All right, so now we've put the lower on. It's time to refill the oil. On the air side, we're gonna add 10 cc's of the uh, 20 weight Fox oil right here. And then this side, we're gonna add 40 cc's of the uh, Teflon infused five weight oil. So we're gonna add it here first, 10 cc's. All right, cool. 